Hello everybody and welcome to Ian's Bricks. My name is Ian. So uh, I've been on holiday in Germany for the past few days. Uh, this is a, a town in the Black Forest, uh, which is very, very, very nice. Uh, I've been staying here just for three nights. As you can see, it's got a fantastic view. It's been a little bit rainy this morning, which means the, uh, all the steam is coming off the forest and the mountains, which is absolutely fantastic to see. Uh, we've actually had some really nice weather up until this morning, but uh, today uh, I'm off on the journey back home. So I'm going to do it in two parts. So today Today I'm going to drive into sort of central Belgium uh, and then tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to drive back home into the UK. Uh, along the way, uh, I'm going to stop off in uh, Saarbrücken, uh, which is a town in Germany. It's about a two and a quarter hour drive from here uh, and there's a Lego store there and I want to just have a look and see what they've got in store, see if I can get some more bargains. Uh, so uh, let's uh, get on the drive, let's get in the car and uh, make our way to Saarbrücken. Right, so I've just arrived and I've just parked the car in the centre of the city centre and if I walk down here, this is Saarbrücken by the way, hopefully we'll find the Lego store which shouldn't be too far away, fingers crossed. Right, so this is the main shopping street in Saarbrücken and literally just over here, I've literally parked around the corner from which is fantastic, is the Lego store. There it is. Right, in the window then, you see the big new Batman set is on display. We've also got the uh, Corvette, the new Disney castle, and the uh, El Dorado's fortress. Let's go inside. Inside the store, then I just thought I'd have a look at some of the displays that they had. They had a little winter display here with some of the newer sets. I do like those polar bears, actually. I think they're quite cute. Uh, they had the uh, the ideas set, uh, the space set. They also had the Galaxy Explorer as well. Really nice set. That's retiring this year. And they also had the Hocus Pocus house as well. Uh, they also had a few Star Wars displays. There's the uh, the Chewbacca, which I have to say, I'm still not uh, sold on this one. It still looks a bit weird. Um, and they had some of the dioramas there on display. Sorry if the camera works not the greatest, the focus wasn't working particularly well. Uh, another Star Wars um, set there. And they had the uh, some of the largest sets there, which is quite a nice display actually. I've seen a similar thing in my local Southampton store. Uh, they also had quite a few brick heads on display. Uh, Ahsoka Tano was available. That's 9.99 in euros. They also had the Endor Heroes. That's 39.99 in euros, and they had some of them on display in the lower case as well. They also had the new Sonic and Tails. People don't really like the Sonic one, but do like Tails for some reason. There's his two tails at the back. Quite nice little things for brick They're not retiring though. And they also had this wall. They obviously had this spare wall in here and they just sort of had this case with sort of six different models in there. And I think it looked really good. You can see my reflection in there. I just sort of zoomed in on the uh, Gringotts Bank because it's probably the best of all the ones that they had on display. Quite a few minifigures you get with that set look. And I love the uh, the whole roller coaster thing going on down below as well. They had a big built pirate here um, in the shop. Most uh, stores will have some kind of Lego model in there. Um, quite a nice uh, looking thing this, 18,000 pieces, 35 kilos in weight, so quite a big set. Nice big pick-a-brick wall and look how the colour was uh, done, the colours uh, on the display, it looked really good. I didn't go round the whole thing just because they were very, very similar to what was in Cologne the other day when I was there. And they also had some Minecraft sets as well. They had all three of the uh, the brick heads, uh, which are, are all three retiring. They only came out this year, but they're all retiring this year, including the llama as well, which I didn't manage to pick up when I was in the Cologne store. They uh, had loads of the other two, but not the llama. So I'm guessing that that one is probably the more popular of the three. And I also got my passport stamped again. So there's my Saarbrücken, Germany. Right, just done in the Lego store. There it is there behind me. Nice and quiet actually, which is great. Quite a nice town, the town centre actually. If I sort of just show you down the street, it's all sort of pedestrianised, nothing too special. There's a bit of a fountain going off behind me just there, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, the car literally is just over here. I managed to get a, um, a multi-storey car park literally just across the road from where the Lego store is, which is fantastic. Anyway, here's my Lego. That's what you want to see. Um, I'm not going to be able to do a car haul because my car boot is full of stuff, obviously, because I'm tra travelling around. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I've got a two, two and a half hour drive into Belgium, through Luxembourg into Belgium, and uh, I'm going to be uh, 
staying at a hotel there overnight. Got one more night stay in Europe before I go back home to the UK on Saturday. So uh, let's get back to the hotel or find this hotel in Belgium and uh, we'll do the haul and unboxing and show you what I bought from there. We'll make it. It's a bit narrow. Ooh. It's been hit a few times. <laughs> Phew. Right, here I am finally in my hotel. So I'm in a small uh, town in Belgium called Dinant. It's in the French part of uh, uh, of um, Belgium and uh, it's been a long drive actually today the traffic was quite bad it's been raining a lot this afternoon this evening and uh, it just means obviously that this traffic's been a bit slow but finally here here's my bag of Lego uh, I did take a little bit of video uh, outside of the view from our uh, hotel room uh, which is just look, overlooks the river there's a quite a nice little town and castle and things further up the road and obviously you saw the the entrance to the town there where they sort of blasted through uh, the road um, blasted through the rock sorry to get the road through they must have done that years and years ago I need to read up about that and see how how long it is since they did that so that was interesting to drive the car through there glad I wasn't driving anything too much bigger anyway so you want to see what's in the Lego bag so let me show you first things first then so this is very similar to the haul that I got the other day from Cologne in Germany I'll uh, leave a link at the end of the description at the end of the video for this I got this set 40623 as a Star Wars set to show you the front there it's the um, Battle of Endor Heroes this is a set that's retiring at the end of this year it was uh, 39.99 in euros which works out at around about 34 35 UK pounds so it's obviously cheaper because it's it's 40 pounds in the UK so it's cheaper to buy brickheads from Europe just because of the pricing structure um, I also managed to get myself one of these as well this is the Llama 40625 this is again a set that's retiring at the end of this year very short shelf life on this one part of the Minecraft series uh, this is actually the 200th brickhead as well so I've got a potential there's potential that this is going to be probably collectible there are two other Minecraft uh, sets within this particular range um, I also so did get one each of the other two as well. We got this one 40626, which is the zombie, and I also got um, 40624, which is Alex. Now, when I was in uh, Cologne the other day, I managed to get one each of one of these, but I didn't manage to get a llama. So what I did, because they had a couple of llamas. I got an extra one as well. Uh, these are all nine pound nine euros ninety nine, by the way, which works out at around about eight pounds seventy. Uh, these retail in the UK at ten pounds, so again cheaper to buy them from Europe if you can. And then we've got the final set out the bag here, uh, which is a Sokotano, so another brickhead. So yes, it's all brickheads, I'm afraid, uh, but there's quite a decent amount of uh, <laughs> decent little sets there. And as I say, these are all sort of at slightly lower prices than they would be if I was to buy them in the UK. That's my Lego haul for today then from Saarbrücken in, uh, or Saarbrücken in Germany. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, so yeah, just a small haul. As I wanted to pop in, I managed to get my passport stamped as well, which is fantastic. Uh, but that's pretty much it for now. It's my last day in Europe tomorrow. I'm going to be driving back home, uh, go through the Eurotunnel uh, and uh, get uh, get back home uh, to, to Hampshire, to the south coast. It's a bit of a drive for me tomorrow, but that's, uh, that's fine. I'm hoping to get to another Lego store tomorrow on my way home as well so look out for a video uh, look out for that video soon anyway that's it for now thank you very much for watching take care and we'll see you next time bye for now